evening, everyone, for Tell Us All English. I'm Sarah Begum in Caracas, Venezuela. The President of the United States, Barack Obama, gives his State of the Union speech this evening. He's expected to announce his visions for the economy, tax increases, immigration and U.S. relations with Cuba, amongst others. Obama currently has around 50% support for his leadership, but faces a hostile Republican majority in both houses of Congress. 41% of the population has a positive assessment of the state of the economy, but only 39% of the population think the country is heading in the right direction. Our correspondent in Washington, Alexandra Hall, reports. Seven years after the latest financial crisis began and the U.S. economy is reportedly improving, but some are still feeling its lasting effects. It's helping, but not, not fully. So I could use a little more, especially for um, minorities. If you don't have enough money, how can you pay the rent? Uh, I, in my feeling, I, I think most of people uh, have the same problem. A recovery to some extent has taken place, but as uh, numerous people have noted, 95% of the economic gains of the recovery uh, in the past six years have gone to the top 1%. President Obama in his State of the Union address is expected to declare victory over economic hard times. He'll also focus on a new tax plan, expanded paid sick leave for workers, and two years of free community college for students. Two free years of community college is a very, very good idea, uh, but I, I would note that in comparison to other countries, we still lag behind. Even so, most of President Obama's initiatives would have trouble getting through a Republican-controlled Congress, a reality that many have simply come to accept. Where the Congress has got everything locked down and, and not worked with him, there's not a whole lot he can do for me right at this point. But experts say that despite party lines, the resources are available. Whenever the Democrats or Republicans are shaking hands over a new attack on a on another country in the Middle East, the money is there for that. Uh, the money was there for, the, uh, for this huge bailout of the, uh, of the financial firms on Wall Street. The State of the Union is largely a symbolic tradition, but one that's undeniably important to tune into, especially since any debate about income inequality is a strategic one for Democrats in the run-up to the 2016 presidential elections. In Washington, Alexandra Hall, Telesur.